Hi, I'm Martin D'Souza from Insum, and I'm going to show you some of the features in our KScope 17 calendar app. So the first thing to do is actually to go to the app, and we just created a short link called bit.ly forward slash insum dash kscope17. We'll put the link in the YouTube video. And when you first go here, you're going to be, show, be shown Apex and Database as the selected track. But of course, you can select any other track. So for instance, if you're into EPM, you can choose some of the EPM tracks and not select Apex and Database. But I'm going to stick with Apex and Database because those are the primary tracks I'm interested in. And I'm also going to do the vendor presentations because I'll be participating in our vendor presentation. And as you can see, there's, there's a lot of sessions here, but it's still somewhat hard to find. And so we've added this filter section here. And I can just filter on anything. So the first thing is I want to see one of Jorge Rimblas's presentations. So I'm just going to type in Jorge, hit enter. And if I scroll down, I see this knockout presentation. Hmm, is it what I want? Yes, this is exactly what I was looking for. And I'm going to favorite it. And what that will allow me to do is to come back and, and almost create a mini calendar of all the sessions I want to attend. And then I also want to learn a bit more about JavaScript. So I'm just going to search for JavaScript. And there's a lot of different sessions here. And I think this is the one I was really interested in from Dimitri Gillis. And it's about adding JavaScript straight in the Oracle database. So I'm very interested in that. So I'm going to favorite it as well. And now the thing is, I've just spent some time favoriting different sessions. But what happens if I close my browser or I, I leave and they come back tomorrow morning, what happens to all my data? Because I didn't sign in, I didn't save any information. Well, we've done something that it actually puts a cookie in your browser. And when you come back onto the same browser, it will actually remember everything. So I'm going to show that right now. I'm going to close my old session, session and I'm going to go back to bit.ly forward slash in some case scope 17. And you'll notice that my Preferences have saved, and so if I go back to uh, Jorge and look at his session, you'll see that it's already favorited. The other thing we can do is if you, I could have also just done show favorites only, and that would have shown me all the all the sessions I had favorited, and I had only favorited two here. Now the big question is. Well, what happens when I'm at the conference? I've set this up on my desktop, but the reality is when I'm running around from room to room and session to session, I'm probably going to view this in my mobile device. Well, we've solved that problem as well. So here's my iPhone 6, and I'll go to the exact same thing in some KScope 17. <clears throat> and there's, I see the exact same screen, but the problem is how do I get the data on my desktop into my mobile? We've created this thing called Sync Session. And what that does is it will synchronize your sessions between different browsers. So in this case, I want to sync it from my Safari to my iPhone. And what you see here is this random generated key, this three-word three key. And all you have to do is in your phone or your other browser, most people will probably use uh, a mobile phone, I just type in the exact same thing. So I type in pretty, huge, then, and click on Join Session. And if we actually look at the filters, you'll see that the three filters are the exact same. And also, if I actually change filters on one, it will actually update in real time the different filters I select. But here's a really cool thing. If I just want to see my favorites, it will actually show me just the ones I had favorited. And let's just choose, let's just choose something else on Tuesday, right in between uh, the JavaScript session. Uh, let's go into the day view, go into Tuesday. I'm going to go into Alexa. Oh, this should be interesting. And if I just click favorite, you can see it automatically appear on my mobile device. So this way, as I'm going from room to room, I can see all the selections I've, I'd favorited from my desktop and viewed on my mobile. Vice versa, you can do everything else on your mobile and have it sync on your desktop, provided you have that sync session key. Well, that's it. I hope you like the application and look forward to seeing you at KScope 17 in a few weeks.